in this question, we're being asked to add 2,548 and 354. To add these numbers, we're going to use something called the column method. And that means we're going to line up our numbers. So line up the hundreds with the hundreds, the tens with the tens, the ones with the ones, and so on. So if we write our first number, 2,548, 2,548, and we're going to line up our second number. So 354, the hundreds go with the hundreds, the tens go with the tens, and the ones go with the ones. So we're going to add these numbers together. We start with the smallest digits, which are the ones here. So we're going to add the 8 and the 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. I can't write 12 in the 1s column. I can only go up to 9 in the 1s column. So what I do is I put the 2 in the 1s column and carry the 1 over, the 10 over, into the 10s column. So then I've got my 10s. I've got 4 plus 5 plus 1. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. So again, I can't put 10 in a tens column, so I put the zero in the tens column and carry one over into the hundreds. So for the hundreds, I've got five plus three plus one. Five plus three is eight. Eight plus one is nine. So I've got nine in the hundreds and I've got two plus nothing in the thousands. So two plus nothing is two. And that gives me the answer. So the answer is 2,902. Okay, so there's a question for you to try here. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so we're going to line up the numbers again. So we've got 3,715, and we're going to line up 592, so the hundreds go with the hundreds, the tens go with the tens, and the ones go with the ones. So we're going to start with the smallest, which is the ones. 5 plus 2 is 7. Then the tens, so 1 plus 9 is 10. I can't put 10 in the column, I put a 0 and I carry the 1 over. So in the hundreds, I've got 7 plus 5 plus 1. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. I put the 3 in the hundreds column and carry 1 over to the thousands. 3 plus 1 is 4. So I've got 4 thousands. So that gives me, me the answer. 4,307. Okay, so we're going to look at decimals this time. It's the same idea. We're going to line up the two numbers and then add them together. So I've got 58.25. So I'm going to write 58.25. And I'm going to line up 37.9. So the tens go with the tens. The ones go with the ones. And our temps go with our temps. So we've got nothing in the hundreds, so I can either put a zero or leave it blank. And now we're going to add them together. So we start with the smallest column, which is the hundredths this time. So I've got five and nothing, which makes five. Then the temps, two and nine, two plus nine is 11. So I put one in the temps, and I'll carry one over into the ones. Eight plus seven plus one, so eight plus seven is 15, 15 plus one is 16. And I'll put the six in the ones column and carry one over to the tens. And I've got five plus three plus one, that's five plus three is eight, eight plus one is nine. So that gives me the answer of 
0.15. Okay, one for you to try. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so we've got 61.4 plus 75.38. So we're going to line up the numbers. So I've got 61.4. And so the tens go with the tens. The ones go with the ones. The tenths go with the tenths. And the hundredths go with the hundredths. And I've got nothing in the hundredths for 61.4. So I can either add a zero or just leave it blank. So we're going to start with the smallest, the smallest column, which is my hundredths. So I've got zero plus eight, which is eight. Then my tenths, I've got four plus three, which is seven. The decimal point stays in line. One plus five is six. And in the tens, 6 plus 7 is 13, so 3 goes in the tens, I carry 1 over to the hundreds, there's nothing to add it on to, so that just goes as 100. So my answer is 136.78. Okay, some questions to have a go at. So six questions here, pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, first question. 215 plus 362. So we're going to line up our numbers. 215 and 362. So lining up tens with tens, ones with ones, and so on. We start with the smallest column, which is the ones. 5 plus 2 is 7. Then we've got the next column. 1 plus 6 is 7. And the hundreds column. 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer, 577. Question 2. Let's line up the numbers. 4,381, and we've got 519. Start with the ones, the smallest column. We've got 1 plus 9, which is 10. So the 0 goes in the ones, and I carry over 1 into the tens. 8 plus 1 plus 1, that's 10 again. So 0 in the tens. Carry 1 over to the hundreds. 3 plus 5 plus 1, that's 9. And 4 plus nothing is 4. So there's my answer, 4,900. Question 3. So lining up again, 7,267 plus 1,852. So all lined up. Thousands with thousands, hundreds with hundreds, tens with tens, ones with ones. And then we add, start with the smallest column. 7 plus 2 is 9. Tens, 6 plus 5 is 11. So 1 stays there, 1 carries over. 2 plus 8 plus 1 is 11. 1 stays in the hundreds, 1 carries over, and 7 plus 1 plus 1 is 9. So there's an answer of 9,119. Question 4. Let's line up the numbers. We've got 157 and 28.9. So tens with tens. Ones with ones, and temps with temps. If there was anything in the temps column, it would be lined up. So adding the temps, I've got nothing plus nine, which is nine. Decimal point stays in line. 
7 plus 8 in the 1s, which is 15. 5 stays in the 1s. 1 goes over to the 10s. 5 plus 2 plus 1, that's 8. And 1 plus nothing in the 100s, which is 1. So I've got 185.9. And question 5. So we've got 14.37 and 98.6. So tens with tens, ones with ones, tenths with tenths, and hundredths with hundredths. So in the hundredths, smallest one first, smallest column first, seven plus nothing is seven. Then temps, three plus six, that's nine. Decimal point stays where it is. The ones, four plus eight is 12. So two stays in the ones, one carries over. And then we've got one plus nine plus one, which is 11. So one stays in the tens, one carries over to the hundreds. There's nothing to add it to. So it goes in the answer as 100. So our answer, 112.97. And question six. So lining them up, 1.83 plus 0 0.973. So the thousandths column first this time, nothing plus 3 is 3 and the hundredths 3 plus 7 is 10 so 0 stays in the hundredths 1 carries over to the tenths 8 plus 9 plus 1 17 plus 1 is 18 so 8 stays in the tenths 1 carries over to the ones and we've got 1 plus 1 which is 2 decimal point stays where it is so we've got 2 0.803